Nobody out. Runners at second and third. The pitch. Plue swings and grounds it to first. Polson bobbles it. He's going to come home. The slide. He's out at the plate. Smith, the designated hitter, swings at the first pitch and grounds it to third. Estrada up with it. He goes to second for one. On to first. Two. A double play. Here it comes. Eastburn swings and grounds one to second. This should be two, and it clanks off of Goldsmith and into center field. Here comes Howell around third, and the game is tied. The 1-0 pitch to him. A swing and a chopper through the left side, past Plew into left field. One run comes in to score. Here comes Eastburn. He will score. A two-run single for Matson, and it's 3-1 to one, Utah Valley. Barnum ready to go on the first pitch on its way. Barnum swings and lifts this one to left. Eastburn going back, turns on the warning track on the wall. Goodbye baseball. A three-run shot from Brody Barnum, and this one's open wide up in favor of Washington State. 11-3 Cougars here in the fourth. And the first pitch to Beltran. He swings and lifts this one deep. And that ball, I think, and it is gone. A three-run homer for Michael Beltran. And Utah Valley's chipped into the lead. One swing of the bat. And the Wolverines are back in this. Here's the 3-1 to Estrada. He hits this one to center. That will fall for a base hit. Madsen will score. Sims is going to get held to third. And it's a 13-9 lead after an RBI single from Paul Estrada. Another one of those clutch hits for the senior. Here's the 2-1 pitch on its way. And Hall grounds this one past the diving third baseman. Plume in to score is Sims. Cade Polson will be stopped at third. And it's a 13-10 game. Utah Valley right now playing some station-to-station -station baseball. Not fireworks night here, but definitely some offensive fireworks. That one gets to the backstop. Coming in from third, diving head first and scoring is Cade Polson. It's 13-11 and the tying run now in scoring position. Here's the pitch. That one gets to the backstop away from Blunt. Coming in from third and sliding in is Paul Estrada. It's 13-12. And now Utah Valley does not need a hit to tie the ball game. Here's the 2-1 pitch to Beltran. He swings and lifts this one into center field. This should be deep enough to get Hall in. Sinatra comes up with it. He dropped it. And now everybody's going to move up. Diving head first into third. Just underneath the tag is Trevor Howell. And we're tied at 13. The second E8 tonight on Sinatra. The third Cougar error of the night. Eastburn chops this one past the diving first baseman. Manzardo, Utah Valley takes a 14-13 lead. Leonard has what he wants, a 3-2 to Madsen. That one's chopped right back up the middle. Coming up with it, but it's going to get into center field. Beltran's going to come in to score. Going first to third is Ryan Eastburn, and it's a 15-13 game. Mick Madsen just finding the hole between Alvarez and their bullpen. The 2-1 pitch on its way. Sims lifts this one to center field. This is going to be a playable ball in center. It is caught, and the throw going to come in here. The throw there coming in from... The 2-1 from Colden. A swing, a liner into center field. That's going to fall in front of Sinatra. One run will come in to score. They're going to send Marco. The throw is cut off. A two-run single for Matson, and it's 20-13. to 13.